It should be remembered that uh, the department itself has about a thousand employees. Now, a portion of those are uh, residential uh, employees from the deaf and blind schools, and then a portion of those are funded by the federal government, the Race to the Top grant. Uh, but it's a $70 million department with about 450 employees paid by the state. So we're talking about a massive enterprise. Uh, and it, it is, exemplifies uh, and typifies everything you would think of as a bureaucracy. And so the idea that cuts to DPI would somehow harm the classroom uh, is just very far from, from reality. Yet that narrative has taken hold, and uh, even recently that is being spun by people who are supporters of a very robust and growing Department of Public Instruction. Is it just all about money? Is it that simple? Uh, it really is, and it's about power as well. Uh, the more oversight that DPI can create, the more power that they have, and the more that they can justify their existence. Uh, but you talk to some school administrators, some superintendents and principals, and ask them, uh, is, will DPI help or hurt you? And in some cases, they help. But the majority of individuals at the school district level find that DPI is more of a hindrance uh, than a help. And so these cuts, uh, although pegged as ones that were going to harm school districts, uh, might actually help them in the end.